Hi guys, we are doing a little bit of a different video for today. Uh, Nick wanted to talk about his weight loss because he's gone down to 12 stone 9. So he's lost over a, a stone and he, a lot of people have been asking how he's done it. Um, and rather than drip feed it into vlogs, we've decided we're going to stand here and we're going to explain it all. Mm -hmm. um, and um, one thing that we'll, we'll stress from the beginning is that this is our... Uh, our opinion and our experience, what and it's not something that we would say that is going to suit, suitable no. for everybody. I would imagine most of it is suitable for everybody, but you must obviously seek um, advice if you're going to yeah, do diet, especially it, if you're yeah, diabetic extreme. and things like that. Um, if you're going to, if you like, if you're a diabetic, then please do seek advice before you before you start doing something like yeah. this. But we don't we don't think this is extreme. It's just not a, extreme a in the slightest. Um, and we're going to call it the Lodge Guys Diet. Yes. And I'm going to tie it up in the back. We're going to patent that. Right, so a lot of people have been saying when we've been, done, when we've been doing lives and some of our videos that they want to know how we've done our weight loss. So when we came back from Cornwall, and if you're watching our vlogs all the time, you'll see that we came back from Cornwall about six weeks ago, didn't we? Something like that. And at that point then, we said, once we get to like the 60 day mark for going to Florida, we'll start doing our diet. So a lot of people have asked how we've done it and basically what we've done to lose the weight. And I've lost a was, stone and I, a half. I was 12 stone eight when we got back from Cornwall and now 11 13 and i was 13 stone 13 and i'm now 12 stone 9 as of this morning and to be honest it's been dead easy so we're going to share the things that we've learnt because some of it has been a massive learning curve you just think you're dieting when really you think you're not you're eating the wrong foods so we're going to share all the information now aren't we so the first one is there's a massive well this is our opinion by the way it's not fact it's well it is fact some of it is fact it's, but it's what's not worked for us yeah it's what's worked for us and it's what will work for a lot of other, other people as well and his dad has followed our diet plan and he's lost the stone, stone as well in a month in, a, in less than a month i think it was yeah so and it's just a case of just switching food so we're just going to talk about some of the background on it. so before i started losing weight i did a bit of research because i always like to get my facts right in order and things like that don't we so the body is a machine obviously that relies on fuel, i.e. food, just like your petrol relies on diesel or, or gasoline or whatever. Um, it needs, for a man, around 2,500 calories a day and about 2,000 calories for a woman um, to, per day. And obviously, if you want to lose weight, you need to be burning off more than you're actually consuming. So your body has to then revert to fat, which then is an alternate source of fuel. Your body is lazy and it will always go for foods that you've digested rather than fatty bellies and things like that. Once you start starving your body, and I don't mean starving as in not eating, I mean reducing the amount of fuel that your body's got available, it'll start reverting to um, fat that's in your body. There's two types of fat. There's fat that surrounds your organs, which is quite unhealthy for you, which is visceral fat. And then there's subcutaneous fat, which is basically what you see bursting out of your, your stomach and fat cheeks and um, moves and things like that. That's subcutaneous fat. So your body will always go for the easiest form of energy first. So and the only way to control it is to basically reduce your intake. It's as simple as that, nothing complex. One thing I will say is that you've got to have willpower. If you've got no willpower, then you need to start taking steps to stop you from eating things when you're having a craving. So don't buy them. Don't buy them. Get them out of your house, get rid of them. If you live with a family, it might be a little bit difficult, but get rid of them in the cupboards, then you don't have an opportunity to cheat and binge on chocolates and crisps and things like that. I'll get rid of your family. Yeah, well, you could do that. That's a bit extreme, though. So, right. So, I've written a load of notes down on my pad of the things that I wanted to cover. And Lee's going to chip in with his um, uh, experiences as well. And um, hope this is useful to you guys. I mean, it's been it's worked for us. And we've kind of done it last year when we did the Westward Day, didn't we? Uh, almost two years ago, that now. Yeah. yeah, it was last year. So, now what's what's really shocked us is because when, you wait, when you're losing weight, you're looking for an immediate fix you, you you starve yourself then you get weight and you like you get pissed off because you've not lost any weight it's not going to happen like that it's going to happen over weeks and weeks and weeks so you've got to be patient and you've got to keep monitoring and and just bear with it until your body adapts to having mm. less calories to consume and your stomach gets used to it because i'm not as hungry as i used to be nowhere near me neither and we were eating sometimes three to four thousand calories a day and i'll tell you something as well you'll find that you poo a lot less as well Nice. I had not got that on my notes, but I'll, I'll that have that one in it. You go well, to the yeah. toilet a lot less because you're yeah. consuming a lot less. Right, so. I like to chip in these little bit tidbits. Tit, yeah. So years and years ago, we joined a gym. Everybody joins gyms in January, don't they? <laughs> because they always think, right, I put too much weight on over Christmas. And we went to a gym and we joined this gym and we spoke to a personal trainer. And she said to us, what have you come here for? And we said, oh, we want to lose weight. And she says, right, can I just stop you there? She says, 
you're not going to lose weight by joining the gym. She says you come to you come to a gym to get fit, which will help your metabolism, which will help you lose weight. But if your sole purpose is to come to the gym and burn your ass off on a treadmill, you're not going to lose the weight that you would lose if you were just controlling your calories. So we quit and never went back. So we quit the gym and we never went back. However, it is good to get exercise because it keeps your body, gets you fit, gets you fit it speeds your metabolism up. Uh, and if you do extreme exercise like spinning, uh, running and things like that, that will burn off mm -hmm. calories whilst you're doing it. Get you super fit. But it's not sustainable to burn off 1500 calories a day if you've got, if you, if that, that difference in what you've cut it back to, you'd have to be running all day. I just want to say something, spinning is a great exercise. I used to do it three times a week. I was so fit from spinning, it's amazing. So. Exercise is not going to be the answer to losing weight. So if you think joining the gym is going to do that, and sorry for all the gyms out there, but yeah. that no, is that is the fact. It will course. aid it will aid yeah. fat loss, if but it's not going to be your entire answer. If you reduce your um, calories and go to the gym, then you'll lose weight faster. Yes, but you'll also get get calorie credit. So if you burn 400 yeah. calories off on a on a 40 minute run, you can basically have those 400 calories back in in, in treats and things like that. And you also might put um, weight on in muscle. That's very true. A muscle actually weighs more than, than fat. So I'm a pillar of that. Yes, I can I'm tell. A, I'm a, a shining example of that muscle. Um, so the other thing that we've used when we've been losing calories is we've used um, a calorie tracking app. And what's the one that you've used? Ooh, Ooh, there's a moth inside. Um, My Fitness Pal, we always use that one. We use so, that for years. It's great because what you can do is you can scan barcodes on products <laughs> and it basically tells you how many calories are in that product and it counts down and says, oh, you've only got 200 left today. So it forces you to become more educated in what you're eating. You need to get this moth. You carry on talking. Is he going to be picking shots? <laughs> <laughs> Let it go in that bag, that's a good idea. Right, it's there. <laughs> Let it go in this bag. It's ah! it in bag. <laughs> oh, it's... Right, pause the camera till we get the... Right. No, 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 you don't have to do it now. I'm not there. Get it on something. Whoa! Oh, it's gonna go out, it's gonna go out. Oh, it's gone. That's it. It flew out, it managed to find its way out. How many calories have we lost there? <laughs> right, so, what are we saying? So yeah, cal calorie tracking apps are great. My fitness pal. We, we use, use that. that quite a lot, but now we're into a routine of what we're eating, we know what calories it yeah. is, and we've learned to read labels more it as well. It just helps you so much, does my fitness pal, to get yeah. your head into the tracking calories and what calories are in what foods because it will surprise you. Yeah, you'll definitely be surprised. You will think things like cereals for your breakfast, I'm out of breath, cereals for your breakfast and maybe um, sprinkled nuts and things like that are really good for you. They're, re they're really good for fiber, but they're really bad for calories because nuts are the most highest calorie food that you can possibly get. Why do you think we feed birds nuts in, in outside? Because it thickens and fattens them up ready for the winter. Um, I could. you'll be surprised by the things that you eat. Just say for my, one of my favorite lunches always is like a, a, say a Tesco meal deal. So I'd always get a nice sandwich, a uh, packet of crisps and some water. But look at the calories on a sandwich or a packet of sandwiches. There's something else like Yes, well, yeah, we need to shut the doors. Look at the, the calories on a packet of, uh, a sandwich packet um, and it's crazy. Usually about five to 600 calories. So it's the bread that does the bread. that. And you think you would think that things like uh, wraps would be more healthy. Wraps, are, wraps even worse. are worse than bread. Shit window. Wraps are actually worse than bread because they have so many calories in one wrap that it's like having five or six slices of bread. So the question that everybody's going to ask is how many calories do I have? Right. So if you use these track these tracking apps, then basically it will tell you based on your height and your weight and your age how many calories you want to lose based on. How many calories you need to eat it you need to be eating based on what you want to lose over what period? Typically, if you want to lose a pound a week for a, for a man, it's usually around fifteen hundred calories. Yeah. But that completely depends on your particular circumstances. We've been actually eating eight hundred calories a day. Me probably a bit more, eight hundred to a thousand. I would say for me. I've been having about eight hundred. I've not occasionally when we've had treat days and things like that, I've gone over it. Or when Nikki sends us a, a, a big six kilos of chocolate. Yeah, yeah. But that's the good thing about this this healthy lifestyle you can have treats like that as long as you keep it within your 1500 calories if you want to lose a pound a week yeah but um we've lost it in what six weeks six so? weeks we've lost a stone and a half yeah so foods that we would say to avoid bread pasta rice they're all high high calorie high carb food 
and you can there are alternatives out there that you can choose so rice you can use broccoli rice you can use bare naked rice you can use cauliflower you can use sweet potato all of them are very low in calories and the supermarkets sell them already done yeah and they fill you up and when you mix them in things like curry you can't really taste the difference just um, try and find the one that you like the best i like really like the sweet potato rice i think that goes great with curry i think it's You're quite watery bothered by that. No. I'm not as keen on cauliflower rice. Uh, no, sorry, I do like cauliflower rice. I'm not as keen on broccoli rice. And the bare naked rice is fine. A little bit um, Unusual moist, yeah. slippery. slippery. Um, but anyway, know. we're not talking about food. No. We're talking about diet, so be quiet. <laughs> so, um, avoid things like pasta and high carb foods. If you want to replace meats, then change it to things like corn and soya mince or soya meat. Uh, they're really, really lean in fat, and therefore, if it's lean in fat, it's lean in calories. The supermarkets all do their own version. They do. We've we've been having corn. We had some Tesco's the other day when we made three nice quesadillas. They were really nice. Um, and start studying the labels because when you study the labels, you'll be really shocked. And when you start adding up what you've had for your breakfast, you get to dinner time and you've had your day's calories, and you're yeah. thinking, right, I need to start portioning this out. Um, one thing I will say is, when oh, everybody does when they go on a diet, they immediately get salad. And they'll do one or two things. They'll have loads and loads of leaves, eat them all, it'll fill them for five minutes, and within half an hour they'll be starving because there's no carbs in it. Your body is used to having a constant supply of carbs. So throw some carbs in a, in a salad. Not too many, just enough to give your body its, its fix on carbs that it needs. Mm. And then your body won't tell your, your stomach that it's hungry. You gotta eat things the that alternate, fill you up. The alternate thing that a lot of people will do when they have salads is they'll put cheese, they'll put nuts, they'll put salad cream with sugar and sauces on. You might as well just have chicken and chips with um, mushy peas if you're going to do that because it's just as many calories by laden it up with cheese and cheese and, uh, and dressings and things like that. So find things that fill you up that are calorie light, yeah. like the roasted cauliflower that we do. That use, really fills you up, but it's very calorie light. Use spices and, and pastes and flavours to give the boring foods nice flavour that do fill you up. And, ca and ca cauliflower will make your stomach full, that, but it has very, very little calories. That curry that we, Nick always makes is a, yeah. a wonder food, isn't it? It's 200 calories a portion for a huge dish, and that includes the rice. And that, I think, is one of our favourite foods from doing all this diet. Yeah. So if you've not seen that, then check out some of our other vlogs, because we actually do a full cooking video on that. The main, one of the main reasons why I wanted to, to tell you all this um, so I'm sorry if it's boring some people. Well, people um, ask for it, so... Yeah, some people ask for it, but when my, as we said, when my mum and dad came a few weeks ago, we were telling my dad all this, and he really wanted to lose some weight for Florida. So we told him all this. Well, he was here for three days, wasn't he? So we put him on this diet. Yeah, and he lost a little bit of weight, and he was like, well, I like all this food, I like this curry, yeah. I like this corn, I like whatever we were feeding him. Um, so he stuck to it, and he's gone home, yeah. and my mum's been doing it as well. And he swapped bread for cracker breads. Um, he's had no, you know, very, very little carbs. You can still have things like chocolate. You yeah. don't have to cut out you things. Keep it in, in within your, um, um, your calorie count. Yeah, you can still have crisps. Yeah, just don't that. have things like um, McCoy's crisps. or something like that that's got like 150 calories a bag. One of these has got 58 calories. My mum and dad started buying these, so you can have little treats every day. Tomato snaps, they've only got 60 calories versus 100 and odd calories for a normal bag of crisps. What's up, darling? Um, so my dad did it, and he stuck to it, and he's lost a stone. Well, what he did do is he struggled at first, and he said, I'm not losing anyway, I'm getting frustrated, and I've actually had him a bet that I'll bet him £50 that he can't lose two stone between when we started it and when we got and to Florida. if he doing it, he'll easily do that. Yeah, so I might, have, quid, I might have to get 50 quid out. So, the other thing as well is, if you drink lots of water, it's actually said to speed your metabolism up by up to 40%, which means that your body's going to be burning off more um, due to the water intake. Mm. And I'm really bad for drinking water. You are. I'm very good for it. I have got a bottle here, but it's still sealed. Uh, yes, I got that out for Nick about an hour ago, and it's still sealed. Um, and then a couple of other things that we've got on the list that we said we'd, we'd look at is, when you have alcohol, and Lee will explain the science of this, because you've looked this one up, haven't you? Yes, Nick doesn't stick to this one, but I do more, so I always I've not stopped out. drinking. Um, when you um, consume alcohol, your body stops um, burning fat it has to concentrate on burning the alcohol and getting the alcohol out of your body. So it so, suspends your metabolism, yeah. basically. So if you drink every day, your body's always constantly concentrating on getting the alcohol out of your system, so you you lose weight slower. So if you can, just cut back on your drinking a bit. So a glass of wine, like a, gra a glass of red wine, might have 98 calories in it. However... It's empty calories. It's empty calories, which means it's got to burn that off, but yeah. then it's also got to burn the alcohol off as well. And it doesn't fill you at all. So, 
But I like wine and I ain't stopping drinking that. So I've factored that into my calorie count. But just get those, you can get those non-alcoholic wines. What you can. Getting. So the other thing that, we, um, that we've that we swapped is bread and we switched it for crackers. So things like cracker bread, which is 20 calories a cracker. That's what we have instead of bread now. 20 calories a cracker. You have five of them with a soup. It's, a sim it's the equivalent of one slice of bread. And it fills you up more. It yeah, might be a little bit drier and, yeah. and kind of goes into powder puff when you bite it. But it's definitely an alternative to bread. And um, there's an example there, look. Yeah. So peanut butter and strawberries and things mm -hmm. like that. So you don't have to cut out treats. So you can still have things like ice cream, but just change it to alternate types of ice cream. So like um, Halo Top ice cream or supermarkets old brand diet ice cream, where this is the a one full that we're tub, at the moment. a full tub that looks like a Ben and Jerry's has actually got 330 calories for that entire tub. Yeah. Which is absolutely fantastic. Normally a normal bowl of ice cream would be that. And that's an entire tub when you get two or three bowls out of that. It's very nice as well, it tastes very nice. So we've kind of spilled the beans and the secrets now on what we've been doing, but we've not been eating anything unusual. We've not gone to health farms or anything like that. We've just cut back on portion sizes. We've cut back on high, fat, high calorie foods. Um, and a lot of people have said to us, well, you don't even look like you need to lose weight. Why are you going on about this yeah, diet I could all the show time? You. Well, for me, it was just, I wanted to eat healthier for a while. I've given up drinking. I've eaten so much more fruit. Less Why bread. don't you put a picture of yourself? This is what on I was going to say. If you want to see how I got at my fattest weight, which was 13 stone 4, have a look at this vlog. I'll put it in here. And immediately when I come on screen, you'll see that my face is a lot fat. It's like a beach ball when it's That's where it goes when I'm fat. So I wasn't. Mine goes to my stomach and a little bit here on my oh, jowls. Thank you, thank you. I wasn't obese or anything, but you can see from that video, I was overweight. You were obese. And it was starting to not look nice for me. So I always want to keep it now at about 12 stone and um, enjoy the odd treat then get, get back to enjoying the treats and enjoying enjoying holiday and holiday food in Florida yeah holidays are a good motivation to lose weight but it's also good for you as well one thing I will say is if you're gonna do a diet then make sure that you consult your doctor and don't base it on our our this say so what, because this is this is what's worked for us mm -hmm. and I must spread stress this is our diet that we've done it's not Weight Watchers it's not Slimming World it's the not Atkins diet. or anything like that it's the Lodge Guys diet yeah now, one thing I will say that I missed earlier on is when your body starts consuming fat from your tissues, the byproduct of that is something called ketones, which is, or, or your body enters ketosis. Now, that is what happens when you when you do an Atkins diet, but that's very, very extreme. We don't recommend that. We you have tried to do a keto you, diet. Yeah, you get things like keto flu it and you, you get cold and shaky and things like that. And this is basically gradual. I don't like any diet where you can't eat fruit and things that are good, good for you. So I think it's just wrong, that. Yeah. So your body needs carbs. If you starve your body of carbs, you can give it a quick fix and then it will, after it's consumed it, it will want more carbs and so on and so on. So I hope this video was useful guys. Um, we, we, we had intended to put this as a, norm, as, a, as a a vlog, haven't we? But this has turned into a, a full diet video now. Is it not part of today's vlog? No, it's gone on too long. Mm. So we'll actually now start our normal vlog and continue it after this video. So thanks for watching guys, and if you're not already a subscriber, please click the subscribe button below. Click the notification bell to get new alerts when new videos go live. Give us a thumbs up, share it on social media, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!